but I am a romantic at heart, okay? And like my great love in life are books. What is this shelf supposed to be? I don't know. And I didn't realize this, but I'm donating slash selling 200 books exactly. This has been a process. There's, I'm gonna guess there's close to a thousand books, if not more, behind me and then also upstairs, which is a fun because I love books. I also decided uh, that caffeine was absolutely necessary today. I really hope that this works out. We're gonna, this might be a fail. We'll find out together. Hello, friends. Are you ready for an epic and very large book organization video? Let's get started. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week will be the start of a very lengthy process of finally organizing all of my books. Now, I try to do this once a year and it is it's, uh, it's, a, it's a task, okay? It's a task because I have a lot of books. I'm gonna guess there's close to a thousand books, if not more, behind me and then also upstairs, which is a fun because I love books, but it's also quite lengthy whenever I am organizing my bookshelves. So let's do a couple questions that I usually get. Where are your bookshelves from slash where is the ladder from your bookshelves from? And they are all from the same company and it is called Martin Furniture and they specialize in bookcases and they have so many beautiful ones. In the past, I have organized my bookshelves alphabetical by author. So what I've done is I've done an adult section, a YA section, a middle grade section, a nonfiction section, a graphic novel section, all of that. And I have organized everything alphabetical by the author's last name. That's traditionally how I've done it. And I can link up above my first bookshelf tour that I ever did if you wanna check that out. Next, just for fun and to try something different, I did color, which technically is what mine are in now. They're still in color, but like also are they? Are they really still in color? Probably not, probably, it's, it's not looking too great back there. So last year I decided to do everything in color and this year I have a totally different idea for how I want to organize them. So I actually talked about this in my organizing my new bookcases for my office video and that is I am obsessed with the shelf portrait videos. I wanna say from Marie Claire. And these are videos where like celebrities come on and they show their shelfies. Like they show all of the books on their bookshelves. And I love how all of these celebrities have actually organized their bookshelves based on the vibes. Like they've based them on their own aesthetic and their own personality and just how they want the books to go. I'll show you all of the different things that I will be using in a separate shot in a second. Basically, we're going to be trying to make this look slightly aesthetic, but also like me, whatever the hell that means. So the next time I see you, we will actually start the bookcase organization process. I think I need to clean out some of my bookcases to see if there are any books that I would like to donate. And then we've got to kind of sort through the books. And I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do that because everything is on color right now. So I have no idea how I want to put the books on the shelves but I guess we'll find out together. Uh, so the next time I see you, we will be organizing the bookcases. Hello friends, are you ready for an epic bookshelf organization? Good, cause that's what we're doing today. So today is sort of going to be organized based on a vibe. However, my caveat to this is that if I say to myself, it's just vibes only, my brain is gonna go, what does that mean? You know? And so I think I need some structure within the no structure. And so here's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to organize all of my books by genre. So I'm gonna do all fantasy together, all contemporary together, slash like all fiction together, all nonfiction together, maybe all magical realism and speculative books together, things like that. And then within those general categories, then it will be by vibes. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do age categories within the genres. I think I'm just gonna say I have like a fantasy section and it's then put together by vibe. That way when I'm looking through my bookcases and I'm looking for like a fantasy recommendation or a thriller recommendation, I kind of have like a direction for where all of these books are, but it's not gonna be as structured because we're not gonna go by like title in alphabetical order or author or age group. So it's like structure, but also vibes. I really hope that this works out. We're gonna, this might be a fail. We'll find out together. 
it's fine. Here's what I ended up doing. I don't just want it to be straight books, which is gonna be really difficult because I have a lot of books. Instead, I want to put some like knickknack patty wax on there, you know? I want some personality. I want it to feel like when you look at the bookshelves, it doesn't look generic, they look like my shelves. Sort of the way my TBR shelves, I think, look and feel to me, like they feel like me. Like the aesthetic isn't necessarily one solid aesthetic, it just feels kind of like me. So here's what I've done. I've gone ahead and I've pulled all of like the knickknacks that I will pull and put on the back of my bookshelves and I'll show you those in a minute. I'm not even gonna use like half of these. I just wanted everything in order so that when I was trying to design the bookshelves behind me, I kind of had like a little bit of like a clear map, if that makes sense, or like, I don't know, it was just easier to like pick and choose. But I really don't want the book accessories to be the main focus. I just, I want them to like complement the shelves and the books themselves. But I am a romantic at heart, okay? And like my great love in life, our books, is literature, our stories. And so why not try to make them look super cute and aesthetic? I can find. You know? So I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of the knickknacks that we have. And then before we actually start pulling the books down, I wanna do kind of a little bit of an unhaul. I do this every single time I do a bookshelf organization where I go through and I look at books and I say, I purchased this book eight years ago, three years ago, two years ago, and I have never once had the desire to pick it up and read it. Should I read this book or should I maybe donate it to someone who's going to care about it? Or should I try selling it? So that's going to be the plan. First, I will show you all of the like accessories. Then we're gonna do some unhauling and then we're gonna do some sorting and finally cleaning so that when we put all of the things back together, the shelves are clean and dusted and everything feels really nice. So let me show you all of like the knickknack edge, the knickknack edge, all of the book accessories that might potentially go behind me. Okay. Okay. So let me show you the overview for all of the like knickknack patty wax that I have that are going to go here. I'm really excited. The first row here, these are all what are they called? They're like, they're picture frame holders, but I'm going to use some of these to make sure that like I have enough books that are facing out so that my shelves have like some variety to them. These are just like boxes basically, but they look like old books and I feel like they'd be cute accessories. Next, I have two rows of basically Greek busts and I freaking love these. I feel like these really elevate any bookcase and I'm definitely gonna be using a ton. Okay, the next row here, these are all little animals and some of them are so whimsical. Like, look at this guy, he's so cute. Again, there's no way. I can use all of these with my books, but I would like to display a couple of these. The next one, this is like neutral artsy. Basically, we've got like this abstract metal thing of a face. We've got like a vase of a face. We've got a naked lady, hello. And then we've got like a hand and then, you know, what's it called? A candlestick, yes. The next row, this is what I'm calling like my Indiana Jones row, um, mostly for the dinosaur skull, but like it's stuff that reminds me of Indiana Jones. We've got some like little globes. We've got this amazing dino head that I've named Theodore. Um, we've got like a compass, we've got some keys, and then we've also got this really cool looking little plane. I don't know how much I'll be incorporating, but I love this row so much. The next row, these are all my like gold accents. I love using gold accents in terms of like organizing bookshelves because I just feel like it kind of gives it like a pop of something extra. And then the last two rows are pots with like some fake plants. I do feel like little pops of green will elevate the space, but unfortunately I actually don't get enough light like all the way up there and stuff to support plant life and I don't want to kill a plant that would make me so sad so we're just gonna use fake plants here so first things first we have to go through all of these bookshelves and pull books also like just a disclaimer if I show books and you're like that's my favorite book or why are you pulling that book or do you hate that author is there tea or was that I don't know like a gift from someone the truth is there's never a lot of thought when it comes to like disregarding books. Like there's never any malice towards an author or anything. A lot of the times I'll have something on my shelves and I'll think, you know, I'm not vibing with it or like I haven't used it and I would like to pass it on to someone who will cherish this more than me. So if you see a book and you're like, is there tea? There's, there's really not, there's really not. But if there was gonna be tea, I would hope that there would be scones to go along with it. Okay, 
Okay, so here is the before of this particular one. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's supposed to be in a color order. There's no color order here. Like, I don't know what's happening. The, the white books still look okay, but like, what what is this shelf supposed to be? I don't know. But anyways, so let's go ahead and go through and I will pull out some books that I'm maybe thinking about. I think I'm gonna do two piles. I think the first pile is going to be like books that I'm on the fence with, and then the second one is I'm definitely donating or selling these books, but I don't know which one yet. Okay, okay so first of all, I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of any of these because these are like my pride and joy. These are like my babies, okay? I'm like obsessed with these. Have you ever seen Tomb Raider? My idol, absolute idol, like Laura Croft. I wanna be Laura Croft, okay? Her book cases, like her library, goals. 100% goals for me. And that's why I started collecting these. I saw that when I was 10 and I was like, I wanna be her. So these will probably never be sold because I need more to create a library like hers. But we will start to go through the rest of the books starting here. Okay, so I think that most things on this shelf I'm gonna keep. I'm definitely keeping The Hobbit. This was such a nice gift from one of my subscribers and this is such a beautiful copy. Honestly, don't see anything on this one either that I think I want to get rid of, so I, th I think this one's good. Since I'm already on the floor, let me look at this. What is this one? I remember buying this, but I don't remember what this one's about. Um, no, this sounds amazing. Why haven't I read that? Okay, we're keeping that one. This one here is kind of interesting. I enjoyed the first book, but I don't know if I want to hold on to this series. It was really good. I just don't foresee like revisiting this or continuing on with the books. Um, so let me put this aside as a maybe. I think this one I might donate. Okay, after going through the entirety of the first shelf, I have all of this space. So I do feel like I am making progress. Okay, I'm shockingly making very good progress because I've decided on all of this, I think. But then also I found quite a few so far and like I'm not even done with all of my stack. So I feel pretty good about it. Also, this was such a great book. And I feel like this is a great example of the fact that a lot of the books that I'm getting rid of aren't books that I didn't like. I just don't really feel the need to keep this in my collection, but I enjoyed it. I think I gave it like a four or a five star. It was good. I just don't feel like keeping it in my collection, but it was good. Anyways, let's continue. I don't think I want to read The Golden Couple. The truth is I just don't think that I'm going to finish this Risha verse. I think I'm definitely going to finish um, the second one of Six of Crows. I don't remember what it's called, but I am I don't feel like keeping this. I love Lee Bardugo. I'm like one of her biggest fans, but I just didn't connect to this particular trilogy as much as I did Six of Crows or Ninth House. So I think I'm going to pass these along. I don't think I'm gonna keep these. These are like uh, poems from a typewriter series, but I just don't feel like I need to keep this book anymore. I also have this tennis drill book. I think I got this when I was like playing tennis, but I don't play tennis anymore. I, I used to be on my high school team. Um, I just don't need this, so we'll pass it along. So I'm not even done. I haven't like gotten to every single shelf. Those ones are gonna be gone too, but I feel like so good about the progress. Hi besties. Okay, so it's like almost three hours after I initially first started and I think I've reached, I think I've reached like a stopping point for like the unhaul. Here's what everything looks like. So I do have space. I wanted space on every shelf. There were some shelves where I just I couldn't find like a lot of things to donate, which is good. Like I don't want to donate just to donate, but I wanted to make a lot of space and like really clear everything out. And I do feel good about like what I've kind of chosen to, to donate so far. These are all the piles of all of the books. Again, if you see like a favorite or something like it's not, I'm not donating those. Um, it's not like personal. A lot of these books I had like multiple copies of or I've just had for a while and I'm just not interested in keeping anymore. But yeah, now I have no idea what I'm going to do with these books right now um, because there's a lot, but like I need them to be out of the room so that I can use the room and also like my family room 
to start sorting through other books and things like that. I'm gonna try to find like a temporary place for all of these books and like move them there. And then we can kind of start to sort through all of the different categories um, for the bookcase organization. So this day is moving along nicely. Okay, you guys, I've had my lunch, which I forgot to take a picture of, oops. And I have officially moved all of the books from the piles here and I have counted them and sorted through them. And I didn't realize this, but I'm donating slash selling 200 books exactly. So now that we're at this stage, uh, it's like five o'clock and I'm actually really tired. It's a lot of like physical work to pick up all these books and like sort through them and stuff. So I think this is where I'm going to leave the first day's vlog. And I'll come back tomorrow and we can start sorting everything. But right now, all I wanna do is eat some kind of like a sweet dessert and like hang out upstairs because <laughs> I'm really tired. Okay, so I will see you back here for day number two. Hello friends. I am so excited because finally, today is the day when we can start doing the actual book organization portion of this. Oh my gosh, you guys. When you are organizing your books and you have like a large collection, it is it is no joke. Like this has been a process. The first day I had to go through and like unhaul and I was not expecting to unhaul so many books or to sort through them and for that to take so long. But I'm donating I counted 210 books. Donating slash selling. I'll be I'll be figuring that as I go, but yeah, that's a lot of books. The next day is a day that I didn't actually film, but what I did basically was I sorted through all of the books. So I went through and I picked out all of the romance books and I put them in a pile. I put all of the contemporary books in a pile. I put all of the classics in a pile, all of the mystery and thrillers in a pile. And that took hours. That took so long to sort through every single book, but now they're all in little categories based on their genre. And then I did like a very, very deep cleaning. I dusted everything. I vacuumed everything and then I also polished everything with some wood polish and then I let it set overnight. So it smells like freaking lemon pledge and like I feel like I am in a lemon grove right now and I'm, I'm living my best life. I also decided uh, that caffeine was absolutely necessary today because I'm really going to be attempting to finish this entire video today so that I can look at my shelves and be excited. <laughs> you know why? Because I just realized that it's mid-August and uh, I'm gonna have to take a bunch of this down and start decorating for fall soon. So, yeah. I'm excited. Uh, one thing that is gonna be a bit of a curveball is that I'm putting some accessories and I'm trying to style this. So I don't know if I'll be able to fit all of my books here. I mean, they, they need to fit there. So I'm hoping that everything works out. But again, with the accessories, even though I have quite a large table to work with, I'm not putting things on every single shelf. I want it to really complement the books, but I don't wanna take up a lot of space from the books. I think the main thing that's gonna take a while in this particular video is that I don't know how I'm gonna style this. And truly, I want this to look aesthetic. Like I want it to look pretty within the sections. So I'm hoping that I can make the sections look cohesive, even though it's not gonna be just based on aesthetic. But I guess without further ado, we can start with the massive bookshelf organization. Cheers.
okay. We are officially done with the bookshelf organization and I am so happy, you guys. I could not stress this enough. I don't think I've been this happy with my shelves in quite a while. I actually ended up just finishing my wrap up and I've just been so enjoying sitting here and drinking coffee and eating some cookies and looking at all of my bookshelves. They have brought me so much joy and so much happiness. Yeah, so that is it. Those are all of my shelves. I am officially done. I think I'm gonna try really hard to do my bookshelf tour this week and then I think next week I might actually start to decorate for fall because it is right around the corner and I'm ready. I also asked on Instagram and so many of you guys actually guessed correctly. I asked you how you thought I was organizing them and so many of you said by genre. So if you guessed that, good job. Um, although I had so many really interesting guesses and some of them I kind of want to try out. But anyways, before we go, I'll just go ahead and give you a very, very quick brief overview of where everything is. But I'm gonna be really brief because I want to go more into detail. So I'll go ahead and show you super, super quick where everything is, but I'll be kind of brief so that I can go into more detail um, for the tour. Okay. Hello, it is me from the future. Apparently, I forgot to outro this. I actually remember outroing this video. However, um, I must not have hit the record button, so this is going to be the outro. I'll go ahead and give you an overview now, <laughs> and then we'll say goodbye. Uh, here's my hand. Okay, cool. So here is an overview of the very first bookshelf, and I love this one so much. I definitely wanted to incorporate Teddy here. Look at little Theodore. He's just like a cute little T-Rex, you know? So the first bookshelf and a half, these are all of my vintage rare used books. Then we kind of go into classics and we have a couple of different like places for classics here. Um, I also have a lot of classics upstairs, but yes. So all of these are classics. Then down here we have short stories, plays, and poetry. And the short story collection actually goes from here all the way up to the wilds. So that book right over there. And then we kind of start the contemporary fiction with just romance. So I have all of the romance books up until this cute little fox. And then this is like an interesting section, okay? These are all of the Christmas books. So these are all the books that I think of when I think of Christmas. I just thought it'd be kind of like fun to have a section just based on that. And then from the Mysterious Benedict Society on, these are just general like fiction books. So for the general fiction, there's really no rhyme or reason. Everything is kind of based off of aesthetic, no age category separation or anything there. And then from this beautiful bust head all the way to this book here, these are all of my mystery, thriller, and horror books. And then this particular section, <laughs> isn't she so pretty? These are my dark academia books. I really wanted these to have their own section. The next section here, these are like magical realism, speculative, and then also surrealism books. And then this tiny little corner here, these are all of my futuristic, sci-fi, and then post-apocalyptic books here. And then we reach like the big section. Every single book on this bookshelf and the next are all fantasy. And I love the way these all look together so much. I didn't realize how much fantasy I own, but it kind of makes sense. I love fantasy. And then of course I also have fantasy books that spilled over to my TBR cart. And then finally, I have all of the fantasy books that go here. A lot of them are series, which you'll see kind of down below. I also have like a Harry Potter section, of course. And that is pretty much it. Now, if you are wondering, where are my graphic novels and my nonfiction? Those are all upstairs and I will show you those and like where I stored them and how I stored them in my official bookshelf tour along with my TBR shelves, which have not changed at all. But that is it. I honestly like love the way they turned out. They make me so happy and I'm so excited to go ahead and decorate for fall now. Um, I'm so sorry that this is the outro. <laughs> Normally I would show my face, but listen, I have a face mask on. We're not doing that. So. <laughs> so anyways, I think this is it for now, you guys. If you've made it to this part of the video, please leave me the book stack emoji. And then also please tell me how you organize your books down below in the comments. Um, as well as how you would like me to organize these in the future. And I think you guys, that is it. So until next time, book lovers, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book.
and I will talk to you very soon. Bye! Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at the time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time Met you